and welcome. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install a splice on connector on the Swift KF4A Active Clad Fusion Splicer. The Swift KF4A is a highly advanced all in one active cladding alignment fusion splicer designed to perform the five major functions systematically stripping, cleaning, cleaving, splicing, and protecting. To begin, turn your machine on and then install your back boot onto your fiber. Next, your heat shrink tube. Place your fiber in the corresponding holder. Leave a one inch tail and turn your automatic thermal stripper on. Next, you'll open your automatic thermal stripper and insert your holder, then close your doors. The thermal stripper has now stripped off all the outer coating, including the acolyte, and it's time to clean. Next, place in your cleaver. Close your trash bin receptacle door and cleave. Then insert into your splicer. For your connector, use the corresponding connector holder. Now open your door. Place your connector inside of the holder and close the door. Next, place inside your stripper and close your doors. Again, left door first. Remove your holder and clean. Place the fiber inside the cleaver. Close the door and cleave. Place into your splicer. Close your wind cover. At this point, the splicer will begin an alignment. Selecting pause will allow you to make adjustments if needed. When you're ready to arc, press play. Once complete, open your wind cover and allow the splicer to perform a tensile test. The test is a two Newton pull force across the fiber. Pull and hold. That pressure is sitting on here until you release it by opening the doors. Open both your doors, remove your connector, and allow it to hang. Lift your heat shrink to the base of your connector and open your oven. Placing the connector inside the oven and turn on the oven. This process takes approximately 30 seconds. When complete, open your oven and remove your connector, placing it inside the cooling tray. Allow it to cool for 10 seconds. Once cooled, bring your back boot up and assemble it onto your connector and place your top shell. Your connector is now complete. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Visit uclswiftna.com to learn more about our all-in-one fusion splicers.